Hey guys, welcome to another Unity tutorial, and in this one we're going to talk about player movement and create a player controller. Okay, so I've already set up a scene, and we're only going to need to do one small thing here. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new C-sharp script, and I'm going to call this the player controller. I'm going to open this up in Visual Studio. And before we go to Visual Studio, I'm going to attach it to our player. and pull over my Visual Studio. And we're going to need only two variables, so we're going to have a float for this speed, and this is going to be the speed per second. So I'm going to do 18, and we're going to have a rigid body as well. And in our start function, we're going to get our rigid body. So get component rigid body. And then in our update function this is where we're going to do pretty much everything. So we'll first have to get our horizontal axis and typically this is going to be set as horizontal horizontal by default in your axes manager or your input manager is what it's called. And we'll do a float v axis which is about the same thing but vertical vertical. And these two by default are set to WAST and I'm not sure if they are the arrow keys as well. And so we'll do vector 3 movement oops movement equals new vector 3. We're going to use the H axis for our X. We're going to use 0 for Y because we're not moving up and down. And for our V we're going to use V axis or Z we're going to use Z axis. V axis. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to multiply this by speed, and we're going to multiply that by time dot delta time. And what that'll do is, in the end, make this speed happen um, per second. So we'll get 18 speed per second. And now we just have to use the move position function on a rigid body. And we'll put in transform dot position plus movement. So that we move from where we currently are and then add on with our current movement. So now let's go test this in Unity. So if we hit play, if I hold down my character moves correctly and it works just right. Now if we want to look at our input manager, we can go to project settings and hit input and we can see that this horizontal axis is already in here and it's set to um, A and D are right and left and it also has the same with the arrow keys and it's the same over here for our vertical axis but yeah that's just about it for this tutorial and I hope it helped make sure to hit the like button if it did and hit the subscribe button for more stuff like this and thanks a lot for watching